Hey, what's up everyone? My name is David and in today's tutorial, I'll be giving you a complete step-by-step -step guide on how to use DSR's dropshipping app. Now, by the end of this tutorial, you'll have a good understanding on how to navigate the DSR dashboard and the different settings that come with it. We will talk about AliExpress, how you can set that up and connect it to DSR so you can import any products with just one click. We will talk about how you can go ahead and push these products to Shopify so that they're live on your dropshipping store. And then I'll go ahead and cover the Chrome extension and why it's important and how you can install it. And then finally, we'll quickly talk about the pricing and how you can install DSR for free. So if all of this interests you, then stick around, subscribe, and let's get into today's video. Okay, everyone, let's get right into it. Now, there's a couple of things you need to get started with DSRs and begin dropshipping. The first thing is you need a DSRs account. So we can do that right here by coming to DSRs.com, creating an account, or you can do it via Shopify. The next thing that you need is a Shopify store. If you don't have a Shopify store, click the link in the description. It will take you to this page right here where you will get the best signup offer for Shopify. So this will give you a free trial and it will give you three months of Shopify for just $1 a month. So go ahead and do that. Fill in your information. Once you do that, you'll be directed to your Shopify dashboard, which looks like this. Now, once you're in your dashboard, you can go to your apps right here and you can download DSers. And that will take you to this page right here, which is the DSR AliExpress dropshipping page on the Shopify app store. We can see it's a very highly rated app and you can see it's free to install. So it's a free app to use in the beginning. Now, once you have your Shopify store, once you've installed and created your DSR's account, the final couple of things we need are a AliExpress account. So just go to AliExpress.com and create your account. Once again, free process, very straightforward. And the final thing we need after you have that done is we just need to go ahead and install the DSR's AliExpress Chrome extension because this basically allows the two platforms to communicate to each other. So once you have the extension, AliExpress account, DSR's account, and your Shopify store, you're good to go. You should be directed to the DSR's dashboard, which once you log in over here should look like this. So once you're in your dashboard, there's a bunch of different settings available to us. So we can see on the left, we have things like report, product research, find products, import list, so on and so forth. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is how you can find products to import to your Shopify store. Now, there's a couple of things you can do here. You can first just go to AliExpress directly. So if you go to AliExpress right here, you can go ahead and type in the product. Let's say I type in watches and then all of the products available over here, you can directly import into DSers. So let's say, for example, this is a product I'm interested in. I can click it to get more information. Once I'm happy with all of the different things like the free shipping, the price, I can go ahead and press this add to DSers option. And when I do that, it will basically directly, you can see over here, import this product onto DSers. So once you go ahead and click this, you will be directed to the DSers dashboard again, where you can see this particular product. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So we can see right here that the watch we selected is in fact in our DSers dashboard under the import list option. Now there's a couple of things you can do over here. If you want to go ahead and make any changes to this particular product, you can select it and then you can go ahead and actually edit it by going ahead and pressing bulk edit product. And over here, you can make a bunch of changes. For example, you can change the description. You can change the product title. So however you want to call it, you can do it and you can change a bunch of the prices. Now, my recommendation is to actually make the changes on Shopify itself because the interface is much cleaner. So I don't really necessarily like to make any changes here. I like to do it in Shopify directly. If I go ahead and press this X option here, the next thing I want to talk about is if you don't like this particular product, you can delete it. So you can just press this option and it will be deleted from your import list. Or if you want to push this particular product to Shopify, you can go ahead and select this option right here. And then these are all of the settings you can go ahead and select. So here, for example, we can see we have a bunch of settings available to us. We have our Shopify store, the different preferences you can go ahead and set. One preference that I do want to talk about is this also publish to online store. If you go ahead and select this option right here, basically you're telling DSers that once you push this to your store, you want it to be live on your Shopify store. So for now, I'll just go ahead and keep this as is. Everything else should be fine. Now you can go ahead and press this push to stores option. And when you do that in the next five seconds or so, we can see the status is now good. And this product now is in our Shopify store. So that's one workflow of how you can choose a product on AliExpress and then import it to DSers and then push it to Shopify. 
Now you can repeat the exact same process directly on DSers by pressing this find products option. So if you go ahead and do this right here, you can go ahead and put in the exact same keyword. So let's say I type in watches. And when we do that, we can see that down over here, we're going to see all of the watches that we can directly select from this platform. So right here, we have all of these different watches. Let's just go ahead and select a random watch. Let's select this watch. It's expensive, but whatever. <laughs> we can select it. So I can go ahead and choose this particular watch to see what it looks like once again on AliExpress. And then I can go back to my DSers dashboard and then press the add to import list option. When I do that, it's once again imported. And over here, we can just go ahead and press X. And you can see in your import list right here that the new product will be available. You can apply the exact same settings, guys. You can push it to store, go through the steps. It's the same process. I'm just going to go ahead and actually delete this product because it's too expensive. Let's press confirm. Now, once you have your products in place over here, you can press this My Products option. And then over here, you can see all of the different products that you've actually gone ahead and selected. So there's a couple over here, for example, I removed from Shopify. There's a couple that are on Shopify. All of the different products that you have are available to you over here. And it tells you that all are in AliExpress. Now, once you go ahead and actually start making sales, all of your sales will appear over here. So you can see, for example, it's telling us that over here, the payment from your customers have been captured on Shopify and are waiting to be processed on AliExpress. So you can go ahead and make your payments right here to then begin fulfilling your orders to your customers. All right, so that's what this particular tab represents. Now over here, you have your archived orders. These are products that have not been processed for more than a year. So if you forgot to process them, they will appear over here. Then finally, over here, you have this tracking tab. So if you go ahead and select it, you can press this tracking status. And then over here, you can basically upgrade your plan so once you actually pay DSers, you can track exactly where each product is, right? So that's the advantage over here with some of the pro plans on DSers. With the free plan, you will not have this option available to you. Now, once you have this idea in place, the next thing I want to talk about very quickly is this reports tab. So if you go ahead and select this option here, you will be directed where you can see all of your sales report. Here you can set up your currency and time zone. So that on DSers, you can see exactly what products you sold, how much profit you made, so on and so forth. All of that information is available over here. So once you have all of these settings in play, we can go to our Shopify dashboard over here. And if I go to my products, we should see the product we imported. You can go ahead and click this particular product. And then a couple of things that you want to do over here. First, when it comes to publishing, if you want to actually go ahead and publish this particular product, you can go ahead and select it and select online store and shop. And this will basically make sure that your particular product is available on your store and people can actually buy it. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And then over here, you can make a bunch of changes to the descriptions. So let's say, for example, you want to take these images out. You can do that. Let's say you want to go ahead and actually just call this luxury brand stainless. You can do that too. Anything you want to change, you can make those changes live over here. Okay, so I'm just going to call it whatever. If I scroll down, you have the different images, the different variants, and you can change the pricing over here. So let's say I want this watch to cost $1,000. I can do that. And then over here, that's how you can go ahead and set your own manual pricing. So it's very straightforward stuff. Once you have all of your settings in place, you can go ahead and press the save option, and then your product will be available on your store live. So anytime somebody makes a purchase, it will then show up in the DSers dashboard over here under the open orders section. And then you can go ahead and pay for that. Once you pay for it, the order will be fulfilled. And then you can rinse and repeat the same process. So with that being said, that's pretty much it for this video. Now you know exactly how DSers work. If you want to know exactly how to create a dropshipping store from scratch, then check out my video over here that I've made. Or if you're interested in Facebook ads and how you can start running your own Facebook ads to promote your dropshipping products, then check out this video. On that note, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.